wish to welcome all of you, the stakeholders, as well as the media. The objective here of this briefing is to provide information because this ministry crowds in transparency. We want to provide information to the public on the cumulative budget releases for the three quarters we, we have so far released for this year 2021-22. And I want to start by giving you the approved, reminding you about the approved budget for this year. The total approved budget for this financial year is 44.779 trillion shillings. And this is detailed as follows. Wage, 5.533 trillion. Non-wage, 8.679 trillion shillings. Government of Uganda development budget is 7.997 trillion. External financing is 6.868 trillion shillings. Debt and treasury operations, 14.934 trillion shillings. Arrears, about 555 trillion. I, I, I beg your pardon, billion shillings. And then local revenue, 212 billion shillings. The total budget, therefore, is 44.779 trillion. So far, for the three quarters, we have released money excluding debt and treasury operations, because these we don't release them to the agencies, amounting to 17, you know the way the total we have released so far is 17.736 trillion shillings as approved and the, this indicates a cumulative release of 77.7 percent of the approved government of Uganda budget. But of this now in quarter three when we settle to quarter three and excluding debt and treasury operations as well as external financing and local revenue, we have released from the treasury 5.335 trillion shillings, which is 23.4% of the approved budget. That's what we released for the third quarter. What are the key highlights for this quarter, particularly third quarter? In line with the ministry's commitment to release funds before the 10th day of the first month of the quarter, we issued the quarter three expenditure limits on 22nd December 2021 to ensure timely uh, execution of government programs. Accordingly, the accounting officers were expected to submit their accounting warrants by 7 January 2022. Therefore, those that have not submitted their warrants have to be personally liable for delayed public service delivery, including failure to pay salaries by the 28th of every month. This has to be emphasized. Accounting officers are the ones who are responsible for any delays in remitting money to those who are supposed to receive it, whether they are providers of services or those who are supposed to get their salaries. Minister of Finance, we stick to our commitment of ensuring that by tenning of every month the money the tenth of that month of the uh, the first month of the quarter the money is released when it comes to the wage as i told you already 1.442 trillion that is 
6.1% was released, and this includes funding requirement to cater for enhanced lunch allowances for medical workers and the balance of 50% of mission salaries. You know, the medical workers have been claiming about this issue of lunch allowances. We catered for it under this release. Local government votes about 501 billion has been released to local governments to cater for non wage, recurrent, and development expenditure. Of this, 113.4 billion is capitation grant to cater for opening of schools. 222 billion is the 33% final release on capital expenditure with the exception of the parish development model funds. With regard to local revenue, effective financial year 2021-22, government decided to release local revenue for local government votes as and when they remit to collections, they remit the consolidated fund. We have noted that some local governments have collected beyond their approved budgets and requested for supplementary funding, which will be consolidated and submitted to Parliament for appropriation. I want to comment on the parish development model. In this third quarter, no funds have been released for parish development model pending guidelines from government, particularly from the ministry responsible for developing the guidelines of local government, creation of enterprise groups which are going to benefit from this money, as well as recruitment of the parish chiefs who are going to be pretending over the parish development model, among other prior actions. So we don't want to send money to a person we don't know and for what reason. So until these prior actions are done, this minister will not release the money. And we are working with the government to ensure that all our colleagues, as we are coordinated by the prime minister, to ensure that we get all these things done quickly and we implement the parish model. And on this, we call upon the stakeholders, particularly Ministry of Local Government, to fast track the implementation of guidelines and the local governments should also finalize the recruitment of parish chiefs so that we can be able to release the funds that Ugandans are supposed to benefit from. Quarterly reporting. Whereas government has continuously released the funds in time, several ministries, agencies, and local governments have persistently delayed to submit quarterly reports. To date, for example, only 11 local governments and 81 central government votes have not submitted their first quarter performance reports, and we need them. They know themselves. I don't want to mention them here, but next time I come, I will mention all of those who have not adhered to the law to ensure that they do so. In conclusion, I would like to emphasize the following. Number one, all accounting officers must ensure that they pay wages, salaries, pensions, and gratuity by 28 of every month. So on January 28th, every Ugandan who is entitled for those things should get them. Number two, 
there should be a display of the payrolls for salaries and monthly pensions on government institutions, not boards, every month. That's why you see for us we have uh, declared every coin. In these figures I'm reading, there are those point zero zero one. Even that one we account for it. Let every accounting office ensure that they account by, first of all, being transparent. Put all of these on the notes board. And it's a requirement in our guidelines. Number three, accounting officers must prioritize payment of service providers. And on time. And clearance of domestic areas. So that we avoid further accumulation of arrears and penalties. In the near future, accounting officer will be held personally responsible if these things are not done. Number four, accounting officers must ensure timely submission of performance accountability reports. And I will ask my people to work closely with the OPM and Office of the President to ensure that these accountability reports are also reflected on the ground. Accountability with the results. Not only just to write accountability reports, but that reflection should be there. And number five, fast track activities for development expenditure to prevent accumulation of arrears. We would want every accounting officer to take note of this. This Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development remains committed to the timely release of funds and all stakeholders are requested to take note of this information we have uh, given you, which will be found also published in our print media. It's also on electronic media, including our ministry website. We have a budget website, www.budget.go.ug. Everything is there. That's why Uganda is one of the countries in the world with the most transparent budget. I thank you very much for listening.